What's up, my comic comrades? Today we are continuing our comic book copycat series with a look at the most obvious Superman copycats. It is no secret that the Man of Steel is the one who kicked off the golden age of superheroes, becoming the archetype for powerful superheroes as we know them today. As a result, Superman has inspired a crap ton of heroes throughout all of fiction that are just full-on copycats of Superman, or at the very least, extremely Superman-like. And today we're going to run through several of them, but not all, because that would literally take all day. But let's start with the character that was arguably the first successful Superman copycat, and that of course would be Captain Marvel, now known as Shazam. Shazam first appeared in Wiz Comics issue 2, just two years after Superman's debut. Shazam is easily one of the most successful Superman copycats ever created. After Superman became the first extremely popular superhero of such magnitude, Fawcett wanted to cash in on Superman's success. Pretty much being like, well, if Superman is such a huge success, we need our version of that. A character with super strength, speed, a cape, an alter ego, and fights for justice. To put it more plainly, the circulation director at Fawcett Comics at the time, Roscoe Kent, was quoted telling his staff, quote, Give me a Superman, only have his other identity be a 10 or 12 year old boy rather than a man, end quote. But here's the crazy part. Their Superman copycat worked better than they could have ever hoped. Since their Superman, aka Captain Marvel, was a kid that when he said the magic word Shazam grew to an adult with all the powers of Superman, it resonated more with the kids. They could now see themselves having these powers since Billy Batson was the hero of these stories, having been granted all these powers powers by the wizard Shazam. In fact, for a good part of the golden age of comics, Captain Marvel became the most popular superhero of the medium, even outselling Superman and Batman. So not only was Captain Marvel and or Shazam one of the first Superman copycats, there was a time where he was more successful than Superman, which is crazy. But DC would eventually get the last laugh when they purchased Shazam and brought him into the DC universe. Next up, we have Hyperion. Hyperion has all the powers a Superman copycat would have. Insane super strength, speed, reflexes, invulnerability, flight, his version of heat vision called atomic vision, enhanced senses, and the list goes on. He also wears a cape because most Superman copycats do. But besides even all that, the real thing that sends him over the top is how similar his origin is to Superman. You see, Hyperion's origin is as follows. He's from a different planet, and as a kid, he was rocketed to Earth 616 right before his planet blew up. And on top of that, he draws his power from solar energy. If any of that sounds familiar, that's because it's Superman. He's the most blatant Marvel Superman copy, certainly not the only, but the most obvious. Speaking of, are you a fan of tabletop gaming? I am, and today's sponsor, Simon, has it covered with their awesome new game, DC Superheroes United. We've been raving about DC Superheroes United all month as they just launched their crowdfunding campaign on GameFound, and again, you just gotta check it out. Simon is like the king of board game crowdfunding, having raised over 110 million, bringing us some of the biggest fan favorite games. Well, in their latest game, DC Superheroes United, the greatest heroes in the DC universe unite to take on our favorite villains in this fast-paced, family-friendly cooperative game with really dope figures. And as we've said in the past, this game is perfect for one to four players, with each player controlling one DC superhero. And with each of these cool miniatures, they're designed so you could either leave them in their classic one-color design or hand-paint them however you want. Overall, the game has simple rules, easy setup, and quick playtime, which keeps the gameplay fast-paced and fun. And by backing DC Superheroes United on GameFound, you can score exclusive playable heroes and villains, which won't be available if you buy it at retail later on. So visit cmon.co forward slash variant to back the campaign on game found today or just click the link in our description to jump in on dc superheroes united okay getting back to our superman copycats one of the most popular characters in fiction was blatantly inspired by the man of steel and people rarely talk about it and i would be referring to goku everyone always likes to debate which character would win but people rarely talk about how goku is an obvious superman copy he has the trifecta of superman elements if you will one goku's origin is essentially superman's origin two AT with small changes here and there, but overall, the gist is the same. Goku was from an alien race called the Saiyans, but right before his home world of Vegeta blew up, he was rocketed to Earth by his father, where he would then be raised by a kind human who found him. It's Superman's origin to a T. Second, they both grew up wanting to protect Earth and our Boy Scouts, becoming the greatest superhero their Earth has ever seen. Their overall approach to saving lives and protecting the innocent is very similar, which of course is on purpose as Goku was clearly modeled after after Superman. And lastly, both are considered to be two of the most powerful characters in all of fiction. So much so, one of the most popular fictional debates in nerddom has become who would win in a fight, Superman or Goku. A battle we gave our two cents on right here on the channel. With that said, I know the diehard manga and anime fans are gonna say, nope, wrong, Goku was inspired by the Monkey King and you'd be correct, but guess what? Goku was also clearly inspired by Superman. I know it may sound crazy, but a character can be inspired by more than one character. 
sticking to the manga anime world since we're already here we have all might now though he can't fly and doesn't have an origin similar to superman he is 100 percent a superman type character and thus is the superman if you will of his universe he is the personification of what a hero can and should be as all might even said himself i am all might the world's symbol of peace and justice all might is basically the tony robbins of superheroes he just oozes positivity and motivation in everyone around him i think he has some of the best hero lines in fiction such as if you feel yourself hitting up against your limit remember for what cause you clench your fists which is one of the most badass ways of saying never give up the fight or how about when there's nothing to be gained rising to the challenge at those times is surely the mark of a true hero an epic way to say being selfless is what being a hero is all about and the last one because i just really love these quotes meddling when you don't need to is the essence of being a hero another banger line that basically means we don't help strangers because we have to we help because that's what it means to be a hero it's just so good basically all might is a superman copy in the sense that he has incredible power and is the premier superhero of his universe like superman but it's more than that it's what all might stands for he's a symbol of peace and justice which is something superman made famous superman has become known as the symbol of hope and justice and that's exactly what all might is so no matter how you want to spin it all might is clearly a superman copy in a lot of ways moving along we have icon who was the milestone universe's answer to superman but once again i'm not just talking about in the powers and abilities area the basic premise of his origin was clearly meant to mirror soups in a lot of ways just like i was saying about goku you see icon was an alien who crash landed on earth in a cotton field during the u.s slavery era he disguised himself as a black baby where he was found by a kind old lady what it all comes down to is icon's origin is basically superman's but modified to where this alien would disguise himself as a black man so comic writer dwayne mcduffie could use the character to touch on real world issues like slavery and being a black man in the modern era icon has become one of my favorite superman like characters because it puts a great spin on the superman archetype essentially icon tackled the topic of what it may have been like for a superman like character to be black though icon is not technically a black man that's how the world would see and treat him now the crazy thing is this is yet another superman copycat that would be absorbed and owned by dc comics later on much like dc did with shazam they acquired icon and brought him into the dc universe though they haven't done a whole ton with him yet he was important enough to make a few appearances in young justice icon is a great character one i wish we saw more of but he's clearly a superman copy from his origin to his power set next we have a superman copycat of my own creation and that would be infinite from my comic astonishing times on dark horse and comiXology originals when the first volume of astonishing times was released two years ago we did an episode right here on the channel where we broke down who infinite is and what inspired his creation and in that episode myself and fellow co-creators say he's clearly our superman like character you see when creating a new superhero universe you have to hit all the archetypes of characters like your super powerful leader hero the vigilante the telepath speedster magic user and so on and so forth to make your universe diverse and it's fun to reinvent tropes and character types that have been done so many times before within the genre so knowing we wanted to make a love letter to the superhero genre while simultaneously creating our own world of heroes we knew inevitably we would have to have our own superman or at least a character that would organically be compared to superman or a character of that type enter infinite he is infinitely strong there is no limit to his power as he draws his power from all life in the universe thus making his power infinite hence his name he's basically a living spirit bomb so clearly he's incredibly strong as for his origin we haven't really revealed it yet that's something we plan to do in the future but i can say it's a familiar yet new take on a character of this type so infinite like superman is that powerful hero that's the core of our universe like soups is for dc if you've read volume one of astonishing times you know infinite is the premier hero in the eighth universe in the present day he lost his way kind of went greater good thinking wanting to sacrifice a few for saving the many needless to say he's not nearly the boy scout superman is or at least not anymore regardless he's one of my favorite characters i co-created and if you're interested in reading astonishing times volume one you could pick up the trade at your local comic book shop or bookstore or read it on kindle unlimited slash comiXology also astonishing times rise of the koken is currently releasing right now on comiXology which is a koken solo series where we break down his origin koken is our cyberpunk samurai street level hero who is just an all-around badass so you know shameless self-promotion but the next superman copycat we have is sentry the funny thing about sentry is that he's a very surface level copy of superman in fact his origin is more of a captain america copy as much like steve rogers robert reynolds ak sentry was given powers through a super soldier formula but since sentry is an insane powerhouse who wears a cape and has an s on his symbol people often say he's a superman ripoff i mean don't get me wrong he's clearly in the vein of superman he's 
meant to be that type of powerhouse character, but he's also a super different character. First and foremost, he's in constant battle with the Void. The Void is basically a dark evil entity that bonded with Sentry, and because of this, Sentry is in constant battle with it as it feeds off of and amplifies all of Sentry's negative aspects. However, because of being bonded to the Void, Sentry's powers are taken to a whole different level, even being immortal. And that's on top of Sentry having the power of a million exploding suns. Sentry is actually a very complex and tragic character. He's both one of the world's greatest heroes and biggest threats. So he's certainly a different spin on the Superman archetype. Moving along, we have Blue Marvel. Blue Marvel, like every superhero mentioned today, follows that powerhouse superhero blueprint Superman made the standard. Hence the phrase Superman-like character, and why Superman is always the gold standard when it comes to powerful heroes. So Blue Marvel is certainly a Superman copy in that sense. But Blue Marvel, aka Adam Brashear, isn't an alien from another world. He was a scientist and Marine who got into an antimatter accident that gave him his incredible powers. He has all the powers of Superman, like incredible strength, flight and vulnerability, healing factors, super reflexes, senses, stamina, agility, all of that good stuff on top of antimatter abilities. This gives Blue Marvel insane talent. Dude also has molecular manipulation. He could straight up control things on a molecular level, meaning he could strip a person down to nothing. He's also kind of a broken character like everyone else on this list. However, if you want to know just how powerful he is, we did an episode all about that, which you could find right here. Now, another obvious Superman copycat would be Martian Manhunter. He has a ton of the same abilities as Superman and is also an alien, or I guess more specifically, a Martian. But he also has a ton of different abilities from Superman, most notably his telepathy, telekinesis, intangibility, and shape-shifting. He's actually another one of my favorite Superman copies. In fact, he's one of my favorite superheroes ever. But he definitely had to be mentioned because when you think of Superman-like characters, he's one of the first that come to mind. Not only does he have a very similar power set, his personality of always wanting to do good and help others is much in line with Clark. Now, I know what some of you are thinking. How the hell have you not mentioned Homelander yet? Homelander is clearly meant to be an evil version of Superman, though he is not clearly as powerful as Superman. He is the most powerful hero in his universe, being the leader of the Seven, which is the boys' universe's version of the Justice League. He's even presented to be the Boy Scout hero to the public, but behind the scenes, he is insanely evil. Like Martian Manhunter and some of the others on this list, this one is very obvious, so I'm not gonna spend too much time on him, although I will say Homelander is an awesome take on the Superman type, as again, it's an evil version of that archetype, and that's just always a ton of fun to explore. It's kind of similar to Injustice Superman. And if you've watched the boys' TV series, Homelander, played by Anthony Starr, is phenomenal and terrifying. One of the best superhero performances I've seen for any Superman type character. Another obvious one that I know everyone's waiting for me to mention is Omni-Man. Yet another take on the Superman archetype. Omni-Man is part of an alien race known as the Viltrumites and was sent to Earth to conquer it. And I'm sure if you haven't read the comic series, which you should, you've at least watched the incredible Invincible animated TV series that sticks pretty close to the books. And in that series, we already started to see Omni-Man's turn from once being evil wanting to conquer Earth for his race to slowly realizing maybe that's not the right thing to do as his son is half human. So he has a completely different arc, reinventing the Superman type character, but the similarities are undeniable. I mean, he's also from an alien race who was sent to Earth and then his home planet was later destroyed because himself, Mark, and Thaddeus destroyed it, but nonetheless, just a new great twist on a familiar story. Here's another Superman copycat that I bet most people don't talk about, and that is Mighty Mouse. Mighty Mouse was first created in 1942 and was literally just meant to be Superman in mouse form. This was one of my favorite cartoons as a kid. I watched the reruns all all the time. Mighty Mouse was created by animator Isidore Klein, who worked at Terry Toon Studio, and one day he was like, you know what we should do? Make a parody or homage to Superman, so they made Mighty Mouse. He debuted in the 1942 episode titled Mouse of Tomorrow, to play off Superman being called the Man of Tomorrow. Mighty Mouse is a classic and a parody of Superman as admitted by his own creator, and a ton of fun. Now another popular Superman-like character is Gladiator from Marvel Comics. We just recently saw him in the X-Men 97 series, and just from his appearance in the series, you could automatically tell, oh, so you're supposed to be like Superman, got it. The way he moves, his power set, and of course, the iconic cape that all characters of this type seem to have. He's the leader of the Imperial Guards for the Shi'ar Empire. His real name is Kalark, and he was also from an alien race known as the Strontians. Because of this, he has super strength, speed, stamina, and vulnerability, agility, reflexes, flight, heat vision, microscopic vision, freeze breath, and more. Yeah, those powers are literally just copy-paste Superman. I mean, come on, heat 
vision. You could have at least called it laser vision or something. When it all comes down to it, Superman is probably the character that has copied the most as he's thought of as the traditional superhero because he's the one that started it all. I mean, we can literally go on and on with Superman copycats. It would be extremely easy to make a part two of this episode, but instead we'll just do some honorable mentions like Brandon from Brightburn, which was essentially James Gunn being like, hey, what if when Superman landed on Earth and he grew up, he was evil instead of a savior? And it was a great exploration of what could happen if a powerful being from another world came to our planet and instead of helping us, wanted to do the opposite. Also, it's kind of ironic that now he's actually making a Superman movie, so he went full circle on that one. Then, of course, we have Icarus. Certainly MCU Icarus. You could not tell me they weren't trying to make their version of Henry Cavill Superman for the MCU. The way he moved, fought, and everything was verbatim Henry Cavill Zack Snyder Superman. It was shameless. If you just want to do superheroes created just for film and not adapted to film like Icarus, we could even do that all day long. From Metro Man to Mega Mind to Hancock played by Will Smith, and I know we can't forget to mention Meteor Man. Meteor Man was one of my favorite superhero films as a kid. I rented that thing so many times, my parents should have just bought it for me. But back to comics, there's more Superman copycats like Apollo, Supreme, Superior, and Marvel Man. The list just goes on and on. But there you have it, friends, a ton of Superman copycats or characters that were clearly inspired by the man of tomorrow. Let us know what are your favorite Superman-like characters down in the comments. And other than that, we will see you next time when we talk about all things comics.